What is life? What is life? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today's story is about why I do not wear uh, ponytails. My experiences with them have not been the greatest. So um, a few years ago, I used to work on the base, right? On where I used to park was a huge parking lot and the building that I worked in was no more than, I don't know, a three minute walk from the parking lot. So on this day, I decided that I was going to wear a ponytail, right? An Afro puff. And when I, so when I get to work or whatever, and I was really feeling myself, right? Because my lip gloss was popping. My Afro puff was puffing. Okay, and couldn't nobody tell me nothing. I was so feeling myself this day, right? And there's different people were just complimenting me the whole entire day. And I was, I see you girl <laughs> looking all tasty. Right back at ya. Damn, girl, you so <laughs> oh, fine. you're so wonderful. Thank you so much. You look really good. You got a man. Listen, Mr. Jones, I've told you multiple times that I am married when it comes to you, single when it comes to everyone else. So please, Mr. Jones, stop asking me, okay? Today was Friday, so a lot of people got off work early. Now I, I know that I, when I worked on base, it was a pretty big base and I had a lot of people, but for some reason, this particular day seemed like they just had a whole bunch of extra people for no reason, right? It was a very beautiful sunny day. There was no wind or nothing, it was really gorgeous. For some strange reason, on this particular day, it was a little windy, but it was only windy when I walked outside. It wasn't windy before I went outside, but it was windy when I went outside. When I get to the stoplight that was right across in the parking lot, and I'm waiting and it just seems like this light is taking forever to turn okay so when I get to the light I'm waiting and all of a sudden a gust of wind comes by right? and got stuck under my ponytail right it was like Whoa. you know how you know how gust of wind goes like whoosh but this this so when it got to me the gust of wind was like whoo and then it stopped and my puff started to quiver started quivering <laughs> and I was just like oh my gosh please do not fall off my head if it comes off my head I'm quitting my job I'm not coming back there's absolutely no way I'm gonna come back out of nowhere the gust of wind that got trapped under my uh, puff untrapped itself and snatched that puff right off my head just like that <laughs> I was so mortified. I didn't know what to do. I just stood there like. It went off my head, flew down the street. I don't look at it. And if I don't react, then it never really happened. I didn't even care. I was like, you know what? It's, it's, it wasn't, if it didn't stay on my head, it wasn't meant for me to keep it, right? And so then all of a sudden I hear a stomping sound. In the corner of my eye, I see someone stomping on the ground, okay? And oh my gosh, I just sweat so, so bad because I knew something was just gonna go downhill from there. <sighs> and, and then, <laughs> but anyway, so then, so I hear, some, I hear someone stomping in the corner of my eye, I, I see someone stomping, okay? And then they bend down and they pick something up. And all of a sudden I hear this. Excuse me, miss, is this your hair? Excuse me, miss, is this your hair? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me, miss, this is your hair. I saw it fall and fly over there. So don't be stubborn and take your hair. That little knot up there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the 
it was the most embarrassing day of my life. And then the person who came back and gave me my daggone hair, it's like, listen, you. when I told you no the first time that it wasn't mine, you should have just kept it moving. And like, you know what? Maybe she's too embarrassed. Except this back is hers. Maybe she's too embarrassed. But no, you just had to keep on going. It's like, Heffa, I know it's mine. I was there when it came off my head. The moral of the story is this. Either never wear ponytails, never wear clip-ons, never wear wigs, unless it's actually sewn to your head because you're going to end up like me one day. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys um, for the next video on Moral of the Story Is. Excuse me, miss, is this your hair? Excuse me, miss, is this your hair? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not.